wonder what else is on the menu. One pan fried catfish. Smells like the real thing. How great would it be if you could make food as simple as that without destroying rainforests and draining natural resources? Maybe we could, with some sort of dark photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the very base of the food chain, and it's upscaled to a point where huge farms convert solar energy to biofuels, consumer products, and food and feed. But if you zoom in on photosynthesis to a molecular level, it becomes apparent that the utilization of light and the assembly of biomass are two separate processes. In fact, it might not even need light at all. The energy is used to liberate high-energy electrons from water. These electrons go down a cascade of compounds. With each step, some of the energy of the electron is taken and used to pump protons over a membrane. When these protons flow back, ATP is assembled. Ultimately, ATP is what's needed to fix CO2 from air and to build biomass. So this is the process of normal photosynthesis. Electrons are liberated, their energy is used to pump protons, and in turn these protons are used to assemble ATP. But if we introduce an electron here, we can use all this machinery to assemble ATP, but we do not rely on light to get this electron. We can get this from alternative energy sources like wind energy. We can introduce these electrons by electrodes and electron carriers. These are methods that are used already. Nowadays, rainforests disappear in an alarming rate because the fertile ground is used for huge plantations. But with a technology like dark photosynthesis, we could produce biomass everywhere, like here. Over here, over here, we'll build something like this.